2022 Mystery Beers up in Beer Pure Blues. We have Jesse from Bungie Road Beer. He's the uh, first time he met. He made an awesome brisket. Didn't have the beans because I'm not a big beans guy, but no, it's just personal weirdness. That's okay. He just dropped a mystery beer on us that was weird, and I felt like we should be going with this one. I have no idea what this is. This is sent by Cameron from uh, Wisconsin. So I don't know if it's a Wisconsin beer, but thanks, thanks Cameron from Wisconsin. Oh my gosh! Okay. Look at this mystery beer. Joe, look at this mystery beer. I think it's a blue raspberry sour. <laughs> I have no idea what the... Oh, oh it's a blue raspberry sour. <laughs> um, are you trying to kill us, dude? What are you doing? Um, so what do you think that is? A Kolsch or is that, is that a Czech Pilsner? It's too thick. I'm thinking it might be one of those. <laughs> so, you, like I said, I have no fucking idea. I think it's a, it's a milkshake IPA. For sure. I think With sour milk. I don't know. You think, I think it, just from looking at it, it might be like some kind of like pastry Berliner. Like I think it's going to be tart. I think there's definitely fruit added. I think it is definitely a sour. I think it might be some kind of a, like, is it going to be somebody trying to do like a uh, ecto cooler kind of ghostbuster yeah, thing? Have you, have you ever had anything from Urban South? Yes. And they have their yeah, something yeah, like that. They definitely put dye in there. And yeah. Where it's like, like no, this does clothes. not naturally occur. There's no way you're putting in natural ingredients and getting that vibrant of, of green going on. So yeah, I think it's, it's, a, it's a fruited sour of sorts is what I'm thinking. It's good enough? Yeah. It smells like a little bourbon or anything, like a little tart. There's a go. Sour, it's right? going. Yeah, like a tart. I'm, I'm getting sour. Sour. It's like a little dry, like I mean, there is kind of. Yeah, I guess you could be like a salinity, kind of more like minerally thing. It's not like overly salty, to eat, but. What would you say? I mean, it's obviously there's fruit there. It's, is it some kind of? It's vegetable. It kind of almost skirts on the edge of like a margarita, -y, key lime margarita kind of runny thingy. Yeah, lemon lime. Yep. Yeah, like that. Like they're trying to do their version of like a key lime pie. Maybe that's why it's the color because it's green. Because it's trying to do like key limey. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't smell bad. I actually kind of like it. I like it as a, as a beverage, not as a beer, as far as the way it smells. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you're going to get like uh, some type of uh, a nice mixed drink. Cheers. All right, there's a, there's a mouthfeel to it. Ooh. And there's it's bitter, but it's almost like a bitter that came from like a weed. Like you were talking vegetal, like a, 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 a bitter and yeah. a vegetal as opposed to a green. I'm getting, I'm getting metallic notes though. It's weird when you put it. That's throwing me way off. You know what it tastes like me, to me? But the person who invented green Gatorade made a beer. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like an electric like drink. And that's kind of how it tastes to me. Like, yeah. like lemon lime Gatorade, but in beer form. Yeah, and Gatorade does have salt in it, too. So. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm thinking what they're possibly going for is some type of lemon lime or key lime pie goza. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, no, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Because it's not... But there's a thickness. Though. It's not... It's not... It's not sour. It's got a subtle tartness, way less than what you typically find from like a set of like new school sour IPA or even like a Berliner Weiss to a certain extent. Almost like maybe the tartness is coming from a super heavy fruit addition. Like if they added like a, a ton of some kind of fruit and that's adding the tartness as opposed to being like kettle sour tartness. Right. Yeah, it's, it's got that, like the initial things, there's a sweetness. There's a sweetness up front. So it's more like the. Uh, it starts off kind of like the, the heavily fruited sours that, that are out there today. The ones that are gloopy gloss. These are great. <laughs> I don't hate it, though. Like, I don't hate it as a beverage. Like, as a beer, I think it's kind of like, okay, it's not a beer. Some calls it a beer. I don't think it's a beer. But as far as, like, a, a fun beverage, I don't mind it. Like I said earlier, I think it's somebody's kind of weird take on, like, a... Key lime pie, yeah, something. I I would even go as far as saying. Do you think like, there's graham cracker in this? I don't think there's graham cracker in it, but I think there could be something. If there's a lactose in it, fine. But if there's a super heavy oat edition, even whatever, that could be what it is. 
There's something giving it like a sweetness outside of what you get from a normal malt. I'm, th I'm thinking that there's probably on the can they're probably going to say that they added graham cracker. Just so they can kind of build the whole picture of like a pie. Key lime pie. But I, yeah, it kind of makes sense. You don't really taste it though. Yeah. Yeah, there's something sweet that is outside of the grain base. You know, and it, whether that's lactose or some kind of bizarro brew sugar. But I. I go ahead. Uh, the pops, the was it just popsicle, green, the yeah. green line popsicle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, like not it. even popsicle, like the stick, the frozen stick. You know what I mean? Where you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is my tongue turning green? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so obviously it's a bourbon barrel aged stout. Um, no. Um, yeah, somebody's key lime. I would say somebody's key lime. It's particles. Yeah. No. <laughs> particles. Um, and somebody's key lime by. I almost want to go like pale ale because there is a bitterness to it and there's not a super tart thing to it and I think it's just a huge addition of fruit that's causing to have a subtle tartness to it. I want to say somebody's key lime, it's somebody's 5.2% key lime pie pale ale. That's what I would call it. You're going 5.2%? Yeah. All right. So it's hitting me in the feels a little bit. I have had a few beers today. ABV, I'm going to go 6%. Okay. But I'm going to say that it is a fruited key lime pie goza. Okay. Let's see the can. Let's unwrap it and see where we're at. With a graham cracker added. With the graham cracker added. Okay. It's a Meritzen. No. Um, <laughs> It's a Martian. We have, it is, oh, I was right at the beginning, Ecto Cooler. Uh, I did the whole kind of like, oh, they're going to try to do some Ghostbustery shit with the Ecto Cooler. Um, G5 Brewing, it's, it's a, it's actually a collab, Sahara Brewing. It's a 5% Ecto Cooler inspired kettle sour, so it's kettle, kettle sour. Um, my boy Cameron puts notes yeah, on there because he's yeah, awesome. You know I mean? He's like, I uh, oh, I, the I color took you by surprise. Twenty-four dollars a four pack. Twenty-four dollars a four pack for five percent beer. Um, and as far as what it is, it says, uh, continuing our collab series. We got a who are we gonna call? Um, the other brewery, whatever. <laughs> Together we jumped into this ectoplasmic slime and came out with the other side of the sounds of easy to drink summer beer. Citrus brings uh, orange and tangerine juice, over four pounds of fruit per barrel. But they say this citrus drink brings orange and tangerine juice, okay. Uh, inspired by that green anime character, this delicious green drink will welcome you just as it did in the movies. Hmm. So they're saying they just added a ton of fruit juice Citrus in a form of orange and tangerine is very much lemon limey for me. Um, yeah. And, you know, obviously they have a ton of coloring to it. There's no way you're getting that from tangerine. Does, does, the, does the green, does it play with your mind and make you lean one way towards a different But that's the thing. Like, you know? when I saw it, the first thing yeah. I said, it's probably a Ghostbusters homage to Ecto, right. Ecto Cooler. Yeah. So they obviously, you could... Yeah, and Ecto Cooler was, was blind. Orange, orange. It was blind, so they accomplished that. You know what I mean? Like, I said it without even knowing what the hell it was. Right. So they accomplished that. But as far as, like, you called it, you called it a, a Goza, right. I called it some kind of, like, lime Ford kind of halo, but, it, you know. There's no salt there's, added. Well, as far as we know, there's no salt added. Right. Um, who knows what people put in here. I mean, 5%, whatever. It was sweet. I thought it, I went lower in ABV because I thought it was an under attenuation. I thought they were, I thought the labels actually be closer to what you said. I thought they'd be six, but it would be even closer to five with the residual sweetness from them not getting where they wanted to go. Honestly, these are the funnest ones. It, it, it's like totally by surprise. You pour it. The second I popped the top and I saw the foam coming off, I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, what the hell am I drinking? Yeah. But do you like it? Sorry, Dan. My coaster's here. That's the grand scheme of things. Do you like it? I would. I wouldn't pay twenty four dollars. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, uh, I, uh, other than Cameron, I'm not sure who would. Yeah, I mean, if this was maybe like in a fifteen dollar range for a four pack, I might. But it's one of those things where. In this setting, where you have a couple ounces and it's fun, it's, that's yeah. kind of where. Would I want to drink can after can? No. No, like the amount I had here is perfect. Right. So, anybody else want to try this? 
Don't all put your hands up at once. It's not that bad, I'm telling you right now. Okay. Who are you going to call? Not me. Not the beer patrol. So there you go. A little mystery beer in the books. This guy. This guy. Hopefully you guys have a... Uh, Man. Yeah, absolutely, brother. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the show. Another show? I don't know. Um, go check out Bubby, Bubby Road. Bruce. Bruce. Go check out all these other people at Beer Tube Blueza. Go check it yourself. Before you wreck yourself. We'll see you next time. Cheers, y'all.